welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kyla and welcome to the first book haul of 2023. quite the array of books in front of me that I am so excited to share with you. It's been a minute since I've done a haul. When was my last book haul? Let's check, shall we? My last book haul was uploaded in September, September 10th to be exact. That is a long time. And of course, I have purchased and been gifted and acquired <laughs> quite a lot of books since then. I picked out the ones that I am like most stoked to share with you that I haven't talked a lot about before. So grab yourself a drink, a snack, whatever you need, and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm first gonna start with the books that I have purchased online, just kind of randomly throughout the past couple of months. The first one is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire. This is the second in the Wayward Children series. I read Every Heart a Doorway a few months ago, and I was like instantly hooked and needed and wanted to continue the series. And like, I very well could have just purchased the entire series in one, but I'm trying to restrain myself at least a little bit. So I just went with the second one, read the second one, loved it, gave it five stars. Of course, I mean, this one is so good. It's so good. So I definitely will be continuing on with the series and acquiring them, I'm sure, over the next few months or so. But I was so excited to get this. And then I was going through my yearly favorites and realized that I didn't have a copy of my favorite book of 2022, which just felt like such a sin. So I purchased a copy and that is The Silent Woods by Stacey Cunningham. I actually read this last January or February, I believe it was February, and absolutely fell in love with it. It's the book that's like stuck the most with me throughout the entire last year. I keep thinking about this book and I definitely want to do a reread. At the time I had gotten it from the library and I was like, you know what? I loved it that much. I need to have a copy of it. And yeah, like I said, I want to do a reread of it and like annotate this. It's fairly short, but I just am so excited. Can I figure out another phrase? throughout this video, let's see. But regardless, mm, I'm just so happy to have this in my collection now. And then lastly, I actually have two copies of this book, but I'm just gonna show this one because I feel like y'all know what the original cover of this looks like, but I saw this and I could not let it go. Like it just was in my mind and I was like, I need a copy of that. I need a copy of it. And that is the UK version of Legends and Lattes. I know that not everyone likes this cover. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. It's so stunning. I just love it. I love how it looks like wood. And I just love the writing. You have the coffee cup and the sword. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love. I ordered it off of the UK Amazon. Um, and let me tell you, shipping was definitely not cheap. I paid more in shipping than I did for the actual book itself, but like it was worth every penny. And it sits here on display as it should be because it is so pretty. And also the inside of the hardcover has the original cover like on the end cards and it's just absolutely stunning. Also, can we talk about this rose gold spine? Are you kidding me? <sighs> as soon as I saw this was coming out, I just knew I had to have it. And you know what? I am so happy, so happy that I listened to myself and that I just, you know what, took the plunge and now it's in my collection forever. And I'm just, I'm over the moon. Next, we have some book of the month picks that I wanted to share with you. I'm not going to share all of them from the past few months because I've talked about the ones that I've read already. And but these ones I haven't really talked about a whole lot. So I wanted to share them with you. This was 100% influenced by Olivia Reed Zalate. She was raving about these books a few months ago, knowing that the second one was coming out. And I was like, girl, you're hyping these up so much that like, 
now I just need them in my life and I'm so happy that I have them now and I'm actually going to be reading them in February so I cannot wait and that is Legend Born and Bloodmarked. Can we have a moment of silence for these covers because they're absolutely stunning. Thank you very much for that. Um, oh my goodness, I am stoked for these. Stoked. So all I really know about them is that we are following our main character. And this is kind of like a King Arthur retelling of sorts. I say retelling loosely. Inspired by... I don't really know the description, but that's kind of what I've heard. After her mother passes away, she goes to a school and witnesses magic, and she's like, hey, wait, was that magic? And then, you know, I'm not gonna go over the entire synopsis. Really, that's all that I wanna know from this, but I'm just so stoked. Uh, I've been getting into fantasy more and more, and now that I've like braved the Akatar series and like how long those books are, I feel like I can take on longer fantasy, no problem. And I'm so excited. There's that phrase again. I'm pumped. <laughs> <laughs> to have these in my collection and read them in February. And then my other pick that I wanted to share with you is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. This is the sequel to Ninth House, which I have not read yet either. So I plan on reading them back to back, kind of like Legendborn and Bloodmart. I don't know if that's gonna happen in February, March, whatever, but I'm just so excited to have this now. I freaking love slash hate this cover so much. This decrepit bunny is like so creepy, but so cool at the same time. And I just love the vibes of these like next to each other with Ninth House with the snake. And now we have this with the decrepit bunny. And I'm just here for some dark academia fantasy. That is like the sweet spot for me. That is the combo. That is the dream. And I cannot wait to read the series. I've heard such incredible things. And it's time. It's definitely time. And then we have some books that I actually found at the thrift store one day, which I just felt was like fate. And I have been wanting to read more from this author because she has written one of my favorite books of all time, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and that is V.E. Schwab. I've been wanting to read more of her catalog. And I was at the thrift store one day and found these and I was like, well, isn't that just fate. So I found a copy of A Darker Shade of Magic. I wish they had the other one as well. I believe there's three in this series. I wish their other ones were there too, but they weren't. But this is literally brand new. Like I'm not sure this has even ever been read because the spine is not broken. Everything is pristine. So it was just like, like I said, fate. It was pulling to me and it said, go to the thrift store that day and find the copy of this book. And I did, and I'm so happy about it. And then the other one that I found was City of Ghosts. This is a middle grade, I believe. I believe she has, this is a whole series. And I looked up reviews on Goodreads and it has really good reviews. I'm not one to read a ton of middle grade, but I'm not against it. Something about middle grade just screams cozy and like I love some cozy books. I love cozy mysteries. I love cozy fantasy and if I know anything about V.E. Schwab I'm sure she has done middle grade justice so I'm excited to read this and also check out more of the series if I love it. This was literally only a dollar so I just couldn't pass it up and I'm just so excited to read more from her. I just I know her writing is incredible. I also have been really wanting to check out her, the Vicious series as well, but these two I found and they came home with me. Now let's talk about the books that I got from the Barnes and Noble post-Christmas hardcover sale, which they did not tell anyone about. Seriously, that was 
really rude of them. I'm not going to lie. I saw it, luckily, on Instagram the day after. It was literally the last day of the sale. So I beelined it to Barnes & Noble. I wish I had known about it the day before because I would have done that and been able to get way more books. But by the time I went, they were sold out of a lot of them. But I'm still very happy about the ones that I collected. And the first one was also one of my favorite books of last year that I had listened to on audio and was like I need a physical copy of that because it is that good and that is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've raved about this book but I still wanted to show it because it deserves, it deserves to be in the spotlight. It is so good and this cover is absolutely stunning. If you don't know, this is a like modern day, and I say that in quotes because it take place in 2014, but a modern day Carrie retelling, but so much deeper. This book covers racism, it covers culture, it covers bullying, it covers mental health. It, there's so much more to this and it just being inspired by Carrie. I highly recommend this book, but I just needed a copy of it and I couldn't find it anywhere and bless the Barnes and Noble employee that I went and asked and she had just gotten a shipment in and went and opened the box for me and got me one. So she's literally a freshie. But I'm excited. I'm going to read read this and annotate it because I just feel like there's so many quotes in here that are absolutely incredible and just things that I want to like singe into my brain forever. And so yeah, got a copy of that. And then I had to pick up pretty much everyone's favorite book from last year. And I had like severe FOMO that I hadn't read it yet. It was like unavailable at my library for months and months and months. So I went to Barnes and Noble and I was like, this was the book that I specifically wanted to get while I was there. And that is We Spread by Ian Reed. First of all, this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love this cream, clearly, with like the teal and this, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't read it yet. It's still sitting pretty on my shelf. I feel like I need to mentally prepare for this book because everyone says that it is a heartbreaker and one that just like really makes you think. And I love books like that. Ian Reid's books always do that and I love it, but I feel like I also have to be in the mental headspace to like appreciate it and absorb it. So this will be happening within the next couple of months, I have no doubt, but on a day that I'm feeling prepared for it. And then on a whim, I was walking by and I have heard about this book and I was like, you know what? I would like to get into my gothic era. I feel like that is one genre that I've kind of pushed away because when I think of gothic and like the whole vibe of gothic and the whole gothic genre, really the first thing that comes to mind is vampires. And that's really not like my most favorite thing. At least I say that, but can I really say that? Like I've never seen any of the Twilight movies, but like I already know I wouldn't enjoy them. I just know it from all the clips that I've seen or whatever. I just know that series is not for me. And I'm so sorry if I just broke your your heart but like whatever. I also tried to watch The Vampire Diaries and like couldn't get into it so I just feel like my brain is telling me that I'm not into gothic things but there's so much more to gothic things than vampires. Anyways that was a long-winded way of saying as I passed by this and I was like you know what Kyla your brain just needs to like shut off and you just need to be open to the gothic area and like let it happen. So that is happening very soon and the book that kind of inspired this kind of kickoff is Belladonna by Adam. Madeline Grace. This is a YA gothic fantasy, I believe. And I just one love this cover. I walked past it and like did a double take back and I was like, oh no, she's coming home with me. Also, underneath the actual hardcover, you're ready. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's so absolutely stunning and I'm so excited for it. So I actually do not know a whole lot about this book. I believe this covers more of like death being a character, which like I loved death in The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So like I'm here for that. I love those vibes and I just cannot wait. I also know that there's a sequel coming out 
for this book this year. I don't know if it's just going to be a duology or if there's going to be more, but I can't wait that long. It doesn't come out until August, so we're going to read this very soon, and then hopefully if I love it, I will pick up the sequel as well. And then lastly, from the Barnes & Noble sale, this was totally an impulse buy, but I have heard good things, and I'm getting more into horror these days, so I decided to pick it up, and that is Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. She is the same author as Cackle, which I have not read yet, surprisingly. I love the cover of Cackle with the green oh, and the mug. It's stunning. It's stunning. I actually went to pick up a copy of Cackle as well, but it was ruined. The cover was all ripped and whatnot, and I was like, we're not doing that. Even though it's half off, no thank you. We like our books to be in pristine condition, especially if we're buying them new. So, I passed on that, decided to pick up this one. All I really know about this one is obviously there's a werewolf. I think there, it's about a woman who's a werewolf, which like is cool. Oh, look at that. They put a bookmark in there, didn't even know. I don't really need to like <laughs> read the synopsis of this. That's really all I know. And like, I was just really drawn into this cover. I love the pink, I love the red. I think it's stunning. And I'm excited to check her out. I've, like I said, heard nothing but good things about her writing, about her books. So we will see. And then the last bunch of books I was actually gifted from my friend Lauren. I actually just included this on my horror reading vlog that I just posted recently. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the cards and down below. I unboxed these in that video, but I wanted to share them again because this was just so kind. If you have bookish friends and if there's books that you are just not wanting on your shelf anymore, please ask them if they would like them before donating them or selling them or whatever because like Getting book mail is one of the most exciting things, especially if you are a book lover. And this was just, it was just too much. It was too much. Lauren knows that I've been getting more into fantasy and she was like, I just moved. I need room on my shelves. Do you want me to send these to you? And they've been on my TBR for so long. I could obviously was not going to say no, absolutely not. So we have two series, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> two series and a bonus. Um, the first is the Six of Crows series. So we have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. <sighs> Lee Bardugo. I mean, she's like one of the queens of fantasy these days. I've heard nothing but incredible things from these. From what I've heard, this one is a bit better than this one, but like I'm going to give them equal opportunity and I cannot wait to read these. And then that's not all because she came through. She also sent me the Shadow and Bone series. This one has been on my radar for so long and I know that there's a show and I just am so excited to watch that as well. I'm going to wait until I finish reading these and Six of Crows because I've heard there's some kind of like overlap in the show, but regardless, oh my God, I'm so excited. So we have Shadow and Bone, we have Siege and Storm, and we have Ruin and Rising. And surprisingly, I actually haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about these two specifically. I've heard people talking about this one for a very long time, but I haven't heard a whole ton about these. So I'm kind of excited to go into them a little bit blind. Don't worry, I will definitely document my experience with these. And then she sent a bonus one, which is part of the Grishaverse, which is what these series are a part of. This comes after Six of Crows. No, yes, this comes after Six of Crows and it's King of Scars. I hadn't even heard this. I just knew that these were two separate series. I didn't realize there was more in the Grishaverse. So I was really excited about this. I love this cover. It's so cool. It like screams fantasy. And I again, don't know anything, but I'm not reading the synopsis on this until I finish the other two because I don't want to be spoiled or know anything going into it. But is she not the sweetest person on the entire planet? I was literally over the moon. But she didn't stop there. She also sent me another book. This is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia, which I just read Mexican Gothic. So I was like, oh my God, that's so exciting. I loved Mexican Gothic. I wanna check out more from this author. 
And here it is. I'm so excited. This I don't know a ton about, but from what I've heard talking back and forth with Lauren, this is inspired by Greek mythology, I believe. So we, it does take place in Mexico as well. And something about <laughs> including Greek mythology. I won't lie, I'm such a noob when it comes to Greek mythology. I took it in high school. Nothing, absolutely nothing got absorbed in this brain from that class. It's just one of those things that I've never really been good with, but I have been wanting to check out more Greek mythology kinds of books to step outside my comfort zone, things like Circe and Song of Achilles. So maybe this will be included in a vlog if I do something like that. Um, but I'm still very stoked to check this out and to read more from her because I really did love Mexican Gothic. And if I've learned anything from that book, is that her writing is impeccable. It's so atmospheric and descriptive. So I'm, I just can't wait. And that is it for my massive book haul. Let's be real. I would love to say that like, I'm set for a while. I don't need to shop for books very long time. We all know that's not gonna happen. So at some point, another point this year, you bet your bottom dollar you are going to get another book haul. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you think I should prioritize any of these books over the others, please leave a comment below. I would love to know what you would like me to read first. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe if you are not already. Turn on the bell so you never miss a video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! With you and I, the few